Boom Pal Zap. Gonna go over another product that you may or may not want. We're having slow internet in the master bedroom. It sounds like a problem, doesn't it? Well, we got this thing from this local Sam's Club and they wrote all over it. And what it's supposed to do is you plug it into your, by a, a, a wired link to this thing here. You plug that into the um, router. Then you plug this into the wall outlet. It's supposed to magically go through the wall outlet to this. And then it becomes another cloned Wi-Fi site that can be up to 300 megabytes per second Wi-Fi range extender. Um, it's like 90 bucks. I just, whoops. Oh well, um, TP-Link, the reliable choice. Well, we'll see, Mr. TP-Link. Apparently, let me get something to open this with. What I forgot to say is these plug into in, in another room and it goes magically through the electrical lines to that little thing and then it becomes another Wi-Fi site. But I got the plastic off. I'm doing this with one hand. It never works out, so uh, I might have to set down the phone. See what all comes inside here. Hopefully there's a wire. I don't have a wire. Little local area network wires. If I had some bug things that never really works. It's supposed to go through the uh, wires in the house. Bug, um, bug eliminators. I don't know. Okay, this I guess goes in the other room. What you're supposed to be able to do is, if you have a really slow one, you can hook this wire up to this and say a smart TV, and it will be really fast, supposedly. What? Leave those dogs alone. Big bully dog. You want to go outside again? Should we eat? Come here. Yes, yes. You want some of this? You want one of these uh, D T Link whatever things? Well, you can't have that. All right, back to this. All right, I'll go plug it in and see how it works, and we'll go from there. We'll try to test it somehow. Hmm. All right, lost. I'll go try and test. I'm gonna do the Ookla speed test in the bedroom, which it's, it's not a problem really. The speed's pretty good. It's AT and T. It's supposed to be like 18 megabytes per second. Um, download and like three or four upload. We're hitting about 15 in here, which isn't bad. It's better in the other room. But here's where the problem comes in. Yeah. This jumpiness. Well, that was going pretty good. Wow, that's steady. Steady right about right about five. I'll go far away from it. Let's see what happens. Hey! Right, I am outside of the house. We've got a little tiny blip at the top there. Shows it's connecting. It's got a little bit of Wi-Fi. And the test ping. And terrible, very, 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 very bad. This is just on the other side of the bedroom. So hopefully we'll be able to pick this up once we put in the range extender. And there she is. Oh, plug to plug this into. Oh. Oh. There it is. Back behind the wall. Oh, the couch, I mean. But I need a lot. What is that? Oh, that's for the. I need a longer uh, local area network cord for it. Land cord. We'll just plug this in anyway. I'll go find a cord. This one's only that long. Plus the one that comes with it. My router's up here. It's got to go all the way over there. Couldn't find a longer cord, but look, I found a closer plug. And that's kids, by the way, if you want to 
messing up my walls. So this plug actually fit. We got it plugged in. Now I'm gonna get the other. Now I'm gonna get the other side of it done. Cut myself off. I braved the dust bunnies. I plugged one in behind the bed. The other one I'm gonna plug in behind this TV back there where you cannot see. Okay. Quiet down, dog. Be with you shortly. And what else I need to do is clean each one of these devices. There comes a cord and on the, the back of the, or actually, you know, the back of the device is the name of the Wi-Fi link and it has a password, which I'm not going to share. But I have linked the one that's behind the headboard over here with this iPad. And I'm going to do, since we're three feet away, I'm going to do a speed test. If I can get that open. All right, there we go. Begin, and we'll see what it goes to. I have linked them up and they should be moving along any time now. There's the ping. Wow, about 20, 21 megabytes per second. Megabits, I guess. And it's probably never about above 16 in here, so that's an improvement. It's kind of jumpy, but it's above five now. The real test is when I go outside. I was getting half a megabit per second. Upload and download. And they're standing on the wall outside of the master bedroom where I was getting half a megabit per second last time. Now I'm getting 20. That's, that's uh, I, you know, I really had some doubts about this, but it actually worked. So I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty impressed, actually. This is now it's 25. 20. Wow. Here we are at five. We were getting what half earlier. But I'm uh, I'm impressed. So hopefully we'll see uh, less problems with our little devices that we have in the. When we're oh, hey, well, straight out of the pack, one of these little wires came pre-broken. It is missing the little snappy doodle tab. That you use to secure it into the little, the little uh, clicky thing here. You notice I'm using very technical terms. All right, I'm going to put this one uh, underneath my TV and, and hardwire it. Got it wired up. It works pretty well. Um, ran some YouTube through it and uh, Netflix, some other things. It works very fast. It's quick. Um, I'm not having any problems right now. Um, so the only, the only problems I can say I did have. It is the surge protector, okay? You have a surge protector, and you're trying to run it through the surge protector, it's, it slows it down to about maybe one-tenth the speed. So um, avoid the surge protector, and if you have the same problems I have, this right here, I can't speak for other brands, but this, this TP-Link brand really worked, and I'm very surprised. I, was, I thought it was gonna be a fail video, but it actually worked. So good for them, good product. Um, around 80, 90 bucks at my local uh, Sam's Club. That's about it. I'm going to try and uh, clone the Wi-Fi, and that'll be it. Another thing you can do is you can clone your Wi-Fi signal, so you don't have to do the uh, the settings to each one. So I'm going to try and uh, clone one of these to the Wi-Fi that I have in my house now, the AT&T Wi-Fi router. I'll see how that right, works. So you're supposed to push this button for two seconds, and then push this button for two seconds. Then it's supposed to blink slowly for 10 seconds, stay on for five seconds, and then blink rapidly, and that's how it's supposed to be cloned. So we'll try it. Press this button. 1001, 1002. Press this button. 1001, 1002. Mississippi, whatever you want to use. Looks like rapid blinking to me. I can't tell. So. Supposed to be that little button. The little light right there. 
And apparently it's not, so I have no idea. Alright, take three. <laughs> I'm not having a lot of trouble, uh, luck getting it to work. I'm supposed to hold this button down for two seconds. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Hold this button down for two seconds. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. It's not blinking the way it says it's supposed to blink, so. Maybe that's mine's not compatible. I don't know. If you guys know, you maybe can shoot me a line or shoot me a message, tell me how to do it. I'm perfectly happy with the uh, just to run at 20 meg uh, megabits per second in the bedroom. And the download speed, too. It's awesome. All right. Well, I give up on this part of it. I'll just go ahead and plug this in to the TV and we'll end it there. But there you go, it does work. Um, I was I was uh, not I was not sure that it was going to, but man, it uh, it boosted it up. I'm impressed. So if you have uh, issues like I have, maybe you can you decide to buy something like this. It actually works. So boom pals that like subscribe and comment